Need another option for $1 for one day? Today I'm gonna to share my third option with you. What you can get at Walmart when your budget is super tight and you just gotta get through one day. Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and I have been doing this $1 for one day challenge, and uh, today is my third option. And I, the first two days did two very different things. This one is also going to be <laughs> pretty different, but here's the thing. I got a little, little excited with this third one. I was really trying to get more vegetables in there. I mean, that was, that was my goal. And, um, and so I ended up going a little over budget. So I'm gonna show you what I was able to purchase and uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about what I spent. So here's my receipt. Alrighty, you can see that I ended up spending $1.19, you guys. Yeah, I would have had to have found some extra change at the bottom of my purse or something to pay for that. But let me show you what I was able to purchase and, and why I went over. So the first thing that I found, again, I went to the Markdown rack and I found these rolls for 36 cents. These were, these were the absolute cheapest rolls there. They're pretty small compared to yesterday's rolls, um, but they're a little bit less expensive. Again, they do um, contain um, some allergens, so just something to be aware of. If you have any kind of allergies, obviously gluten being one of them, um, you would have to check the ingredient list. It might not work for you, but if you, know, if you are looking for bread, you've got it, 36 cents. And then this time I actually broke down and did the thing that I didn't want to do because I thought it was too easy, but I did it. Ramen. Yes, I bought ramen and the ramen was only 24 cents. Again, I really didn't want to do ramen because I thought it was kind of like an easy choice, but at the same time, it is what it is. It's ramen, it's cheap. There's a reason why people think of ramen when they're trying to save money. I could have gotten two packages of ramen, but I actually thought the bread was more filling than a second package of ramen, so I opted for the bread instead. By the way, each package of ramen is supposed to be two servings per container, so half a block at a time. I don't personally, I usually, if we're gonna eat ramen, we eat the whole thing in one sitting, but again, this is tight budget. This is like stretching it, making it work. So you could either maybe have the ramen for lunch and just have the bread for another meal, or I don't know, ramen for both and some bread for with it. So it's just however you wanna do it. So then I got myself a tomato because I had an idea of something that I wanted to do with the bread that I thought would make it extra filling and almost feel like you had a salad. So I got one Roma tomato, which this actually was very reasonable. The Roma tomato ended up being 14 cents. And I did purposely look for the smallest one I could find. And that was it. So then I decided I was going to really try to get some flavor, some real flavor, something that would help both the ramen and the bread. And I went for this garlic. Let me tell you something, Walmart, their loose garlic, first of all, was hard to find. Second of all, was very expensive. I didn't realize that because I've never, I usually buy it in quantity. I don't usually buy it loose in a singular head of garlic. At Ingles is where I normally, if I'm gonna buy a single head of garlic, I actually have one here. Here's the difference, I don't know if you can see. This one is significantly larger, and my husband likes these because he's one of those crazy people that just likes to eat garlic. So he likes these big giant cloves of garlic, and so I get these loose at Ingles for him. Um, but you know, one head of garlic there is, you know, 10, 20 cents maybe. Not this. This one head of garlic, you will not even believe it, was 40 cents. 40 cents for a tiny head of garlic. I could not believe it. It actually rang up as $3.98 a pound. Do you know this garlic that I get at Ingles is 52 cents a pound. It's, I couldn't believe how expensive this was and that was what took me over my price. But I was already at the register and I was already paying for all these receipts that were like a dollar each. So, you know, I went ahead and paid for it. But just a heads up, if you are going to Walmart and you're on a tight budget, don't get the loose garlic unless you price it out first. So just something to be aware of. But since we bought it, we're just gonna assume that we found an extra 
20 cents or so at the bottom of my purse or like in your couch cushions or something. So we ended up spending, like I said, $1.19. The reason why I got these things was that I, my plan is to take, of course, one of these rolls very similarly and use it for breakfast. Again, um, I'm gonna show you what I did yesterday and basically I just slice it in half, put some butter on it, toast it in the oven, put a little cinnamon sugar on it and we're done one roll for breakfast. The other roll I'm actually gonna split in half and I'll use it for making a kind of bruschetta. And I'm gonna use that for lunch and or dinner. Now, like I said, we could just have the ramen for dinner and the little bruschetta for lunch, or you could split it up and do, you know, half a bowl <laughs> or half a package of soup for lunch and half a package of soup for dinner with a half a roll bruschetta for each one. And that way you kind of have both flavors. Totally up to you but if you were interested you could do that so i'm not going to show you how to make the cinnamon bread again so if you want to see how i made the cinnamon bread i'm going to link you to the other video up here but uh, i'm going to show you how to make the bruschetta and we'll put it next to the beautiful ramen and you'll get to see an entire day's worth for about a dollar so let's get started okay so here we have our rolls that i have went ahead and split up and i have my tomato that i have now diced and my garlic that I have now diced, and we're gonna turn it into bruschetta. So this is just a simple way that I do it. There's lots of ways to do it, it's up to you. Um, I do wanna point out that I do have extra virgin olive oil, salt, and some basil leaves. Now, part of the challenge was that you could use butter or oil, whatever you had on hand, just not too much, because um, the assumption is that you probably have some things in your spice cabinet and probably some kind of fat in your house. So this is how you could do it. And of course, if I didn't have olive oil, if I had butter, I could just melt the butter and use it that way. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a touch of olive oil to both the garlic and the tomato. Usually when I make bruschetta, I do it in a larger batch, so it's hard to, hard to eyeball it, but I just kind of add a little bit of it because it's just gonna give it flavor. Now the tomatoes, I'm gonna put this in here, stir it up, and ideally, when you're making a bruschetta, you wanna have fresh basil leaves. I don't, but you know, we want the flavor of it if we can, so I'm gonna throw some dried in there. And stir that up, and I might even throw a little salt in there. There we go. And I'll stir that up. And this is gonna sit for about 15 minutes while we cook our bread. We're gonna cook it in the oven. So we're gonna let this sit and marinate for about 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna stir up this garlic. So again, we're gonna put it in the oil. Might need a little more oil. Again, there's lots of ways you could do this. I actually thought about roasting my garlic and spreading it on there, which is another easy way to do it. But this is just the way that I prefer to do it. And you know, you could totally do it a different way. I am gonna add a little more oil to that. There we go. That's a touch more than I wanted, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm basically gonna just take this and kind of smear it on the bread. And this is two cloves worth of garlic. And I wanna divide it between the two pieces of bread. It's gonna be very garlicky, but I like, I personally really like garlic. Like I said, my husband just eats it raw, so I mean, we, we are garlic loving people, okay? And let me get this on the other one. I'm gonna probably, probably be a little easier to do it this way now. Because on our budget, we don't wanna waste any of it, right? We're gonna put our garlic breads in the oven at about 400 degrees for about five minutes, just to get it a little crispy, and then I'm gonna put it under the broiler on low for about two minutes. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. And when it's ready, we'll add the tomato on top and we'll have a little bruschetta to have with our ramen. Okay, y'all, what I'm gonna tell you right now is that my house smells so amazing. <laughs> so, of course, this was the cinnamon toast for the breakfast meal. And then we have the two bowls of ramen, which actually, you know, this is full bowls of ramen. There's plenty of uh, food for, for one, one little soup with a bruschetta. 
and this smells so good I can't even tell you and basically you would just take this and put it on top and eat it all together you guys this is try this I'm telling you you know on a budget or not this right here is amazing. I am not even kidding you. Look at that. Is that not so good? Oh, you want this in your life. So, bruschetta, ramen. Bruschetta, ramen, and cinnamon toast. One dollar. We got vegetables. We got carbs. Um, with the oil, we got some fats. Not much in the way of protein except for what's in the bread and in the butter. Uh, but you know what? I think this is definitely plenty for one day for about one dollar. Okay guys, so that's it. This is the last day and that was the last meal option I had for about one dollar a day at Walmart. So again, I've said every time, but these are, you know, I tried really hard to get as much nutrition as I could in for that amount of money, but it is really hard on a budget that tight. I actually think if I had three dollars for three days, and I had that $3 all at once, I could do a whole lot better than $1 for one day. So maybe maybe I'll do that in another video. But um, just having a little bit at one time really limits your op options. You can't uh, save up and, and do something that'll carry over into other days. Yeah, it's, it's a struggle. But I would love to hear your ideas. By all means, if you think that you can do um, this and you can do better, please make a video and show me. I would love to see it. And I think the really great thing about this kind of challenge is it encourages people to look at the things that they have in a different way, especially when their budget is super tight and they have to get by for a little while. So anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below. Like I said, your thoughts, please subscribe to my channel if you like uh, frugality because that's what I'm all about. <laughs> and also make sure you click the like button if you enjoyed this video. So thank you for joining me. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!